Hey guys, this is Make It Work With Yash, and today we are going to do a short video on replacing our fog lights in our 2015 Ford Explorer. I will be putting in the description area what all years this was to go for. So just make sure you look in that description area and it will tell you uh, what years this will go for. Well guys, before we get to the video, please make sure you hit that like button, that's that thumbs up and make sure you share this video and if you're new to this um, channel please make sure you subscribe all right guys uh, another thing you will need is you will need some sockets uh you will need the seven thirty seconds uh socket those right there and you will need a five six things and you will need those for removing some screws down here so these are the screws that you will be removing let me try to show you uh okay once you get down here you're gonna have to turn your wheel outwards like that turn your wheel outwards right now we're on the passenger side so turn your wheel outwards and you will be removing two let me make sure you can see these Yes. you will be removing two screws on the side that's that one right there and this one right here you remove those two and you will use the 730 seconds socket for that then once you get that removed uh, there's underneath you will be removing three more screws okay there's one there there's one right in front of it. I think you guys can see it, maybe. And then there's one way up towards the front. So, that screw right there, and then this one. And like I said, that is what you're going to use the 7 30 seconds socket for. So, yeah. So we're gonna unscrew those two. Get this on. And the reason why you have to unscrew those because they have this plastic that is, I guess, blocking any type of water or anything from splashing. Sorry about that, guys. Splashing up on other wires or stuff underneath here. So, they have all this blocking off. So, yeah. It's crazy, I think, because you have to go through all this just to uh, change your fog lights. Back in the days, you can just get underneath your vehicle and just pull out your old light and put your new one in and go from there. Now, they got all this covering to cover up everything. So, yeah, just got to do what you got to do. Then we should be able to pull it back. It's not going to come all the way off. It's just going to be pulled back. Let me turn on some light down here. Just to be pulled back before you can get to the light. All right, guys, so after you use that socket, you will use the 516 nets and i'm going to try to angle the camera for you guys to see the bottom screws that i'm talking about so let's just see what i can do all right guys hang on all right guys the other screw i was talking about is this one right here that's a 516 screw you're gonna have to unscrew and then there's another one in front of it so like i said this one and then there's another one right there so guys i don't know if i can keep that angle for you guys to see while i'm unscrewing it but i'm going to unscrew it and then we come back after i get those two unscrewed all right all right guys once you get all the screws unscrewed like i said it should be two small screws 
and three of the five six same screws underneath you will see when you get underneath there it's pretty easy you will bend the piece back let me get it focused for you guys to see you will pull this up and once you pull it up just one moment you will see this is where your windshield wiper reserver is and then you will see where your fog lights are yeah it's the same way for both sides if you got a drill guys feel free to use your drill it's just so much better all right guys so i'm trying to get it angle for you guys to see i'm sorry with all the distraction but yeah it's kind of crazy there's no room underneath here so yeah I'm just trying to get it angle for you guys to see all right so you guys see that where that white tube is right there right there that is going to the fog light so i'm going to try to keep this angle for you guys to see exactly how I'm going to install the new fog light all right guys so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna twist it now I can zoom in for you guys a little bit just to, but I don't want to zoom too much and it will make the picture look distorted so guys what you do you would twist upwards you see how I twist it and pull that out that's how you pull out the old fog light all right guys now when you get your light out there is a button that you're gonna push on the side let me get some light angle on it for you guys to see this one moment okay guys you see this on the side of the light there is a tab that you're gonna push now when you push that in you can pull the light out and I'm gonna show you all right so gonna push see that side right there it's that button right there you're gonna push it in and you can slide the old light out see watch I'm pushing it and there we go it just unplugs now I can put my new light in there's my new one right there and I'm gonna slide that right in place make sure you got it in good enough to hear it snap and you should be good to go guys then that's when we will put it back in the same socket that we took it out of all right guys you see that clear hole right there now I'm gonna put it in now you might have to play with it a little bit to get it right exactly the way you had it going in but you're gonna put it in there and you're gonna turn to it snaps in place there we go so it's in there you see that guys it's in there so there you go now you would do the other side exactly the same way you did this side so guys I'm not gonna have to show you how to do the other side it is exactly the same just like a twin exactly the same but we are going to screw this back together and i'm going to be turning them on to give it a test all right guys hang in all right guys this is how it looks finally got it finished i had to wait to get dark a little bit for you see that the fog lights match the headlights now they are exactly the same color no more yellowish looking lights well guys this is a little video from make it work with yash and i'll see you guys later stay safe and take it easy peace